everyone uh, welcome to my channel so in this video I'm going to introduce uh, how we are going to solve this problem called number of death rows with target sum and also at the same time I'm going to briefly cover the general steps we should follow in the real interview so let's get started so remember the first step in the real interview is always try to fully understand the question um, if there is anything unclear please bring up the interviewer uh, asking some good questions and at the same time think about some edge cases. So let's uh, first read through this problem. So you have D dashes and um, each dash uh, has F faces numbered one to F. Return the number of possible ways uh, out of the F to the power of D total ways modular 10 to the power, which is 10 billion plus seven to row the dash so that the sum of the face of numbers uh, equal to target. So let's say for the first example, we have just one dash, uh, and the, the dash has f six faces. Target is three, then there's only one way. For the second one, two dash, uh, face, each face uh, six, target is seven, so you have uh, six ways to do it. So let's see some constraints. So F and D are both uh, within one to 30 and targeted between one to 10,000. So currently I don't see any obvious edge cases so let's go to the next step, which is um, finding the solution. So in this step, you're going to um, discuss the brief solution with your interviewer and talk about some runtime, space analysis, etc. And um, after you get an agreement, you can feel free to do some coding work. Um, so let's, uh, let me introduce how to solve this problem. So this is a pretty, um, pretty obvious DP problem. So the DP formula is, um, let's say we have um, DP, this is DP day and uh, the dash sum. So DP day dash sum is equal to sum of DP, uh, this is not day, so let's say this is dice, dice num. So this is uh, DP dice num minus one, uh, this is, uh, let's say this is dice num minus, let's say this i, um, uh, yeah, so this is pretty much this, and the i is between, i is within, um, this is one, two, f. So let me explain this, uh, d this uh, db formula. So to have this number, that's num of the dashes, to have this number of dashes to sum up to this number of sum, we need to, uh, the, the formula is we decompose into sub problems. So let's say for uh, the rest, so let's say for that's num minus one, this many dashes, we have uh, this many, the this many of the sum. So we just need to have the, the rest one then the, the the rest one dash to be row to have the number uh, face up uh, between one to f, so so this is uh, how we decompose the uh, problem. So we have let's say we have we leave we just leave one dash, and uh, we compute the ways for the rest of the dashes to uh, have uh, the sums, and um, the number of ways to have uh, this many dash to roll up. Uh, this many sum is pretty much just uh, let's say just leave one dash away uh, and th for that one dash it has uh, one to f possibilities and uh, we sum up the ways for uh, for just the uh, dash num minus one to be sum up to dash num minus i so that's pretty much about the formula so up so the runtime is going to be um, o D, F, and the target. So this is uh, the runtime. And space wise, um, it is going to be O, D times target. So, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much about uh, the runtime and space analysis. So, after you you agree with your interviewer, it's time to do some coding work. So, so take care about your correctness, the readability, and also the speed. So let's go through this uh, uh, piece of code briefly. So we have initialized this uh, DP array. 
and uh, we have that's zero uh, that's zero and I initialized to be one so I is from the minimum uh, from one to the to the minimum between the target and uh, F so it means for that's uh, for the that's zero we have one ways to row to have the face up from one to F so that's the initialization of this uh, DP uh, zero to uh, DP DP zero so the next one is to use this formula to compute uh, up to dp b minus one target. So we have uh, so the out, this is like a three uh, three layer of the for loop. So the first layer it is uh, about the that's num. The second layer is about uh, the total. And the third layer is the current das uh, face up value. So if the total minus the dice num is smaller than the face value than the face up. That means there's no way for us to have um, uh, to have uh, dice num minus one to be total uh, to have the total to be total minus face up. So this is illegal. Then we are going to continue. Otherwise, we are going to just uh, use uh, the formula above to compute. Uh, to compute the DP DP uh, matrix top, uh, bottom up, and remember that uh, the total weights can be very large, and uh, it, rem it needs us to modulo ten to the power of nine plus seven. So we do this here, and finally we just return DP D minus one and target, which means uh, we use uh, D D dashes to roll up target. How many of the weights uh, do we have? So uh, that's it for uh, this uh, piece of code. And uh, don't forget to do some testing uh, when you're done with coding during an interview. So that's it for uh, this uh, coding question. If you have any question about the code or about the solution, uh, feel free to leave some, some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.